Dr. Nasir Ibrahim, a foremost director in the National Biotechnology Development Agency, speaks on the importance of gum arabic and the need to fund its research and production. Gum arabic uh, is an agricultural tree proof and it's like all other proof. It grows mostly in the northern part of the country. Though the coverage of the crop is uh, between 12 to 14 degrees north of the equator. So Nigeria, is the northern part of the country, is part of the area where but you can find the crop growing. So that crop uh, is a perennial, it's only like a wayali cultivated crop like beans and some cotton and that. It is a perennial tree crop. It grow uh, mostly in the wild. Borna set and Yubi as here that the tree can grow properly and produce the gum that we require. So the gum produced by the tree is of very low quality. We have more than 13,000 species of the gum producing plant in the world. In Nigeria we have more than, we have more than 20 species. But this gum acacia is the one that is the best quality, which is a grade one. So it is that grade one that uh, we wanted to see how we are going to improve the production and cultivation of the tree. Because the gum produced by the tree is used for a lot of things, beverage industry, textile industry, pharmaceutical industry, labor industry, candy industry, ink and lithography industry. It is used as a user in inspire or a binder, a liquid, like in soft drink, it stops crystallization of sugar or the color <coughs> of the soft tongue to settle on the bottom, at the bottom, bottom of the bottom. Ibrahim expounds on the crop's prospects in mitigating the effects of climate change. Because the, the plant is zerophytic in nature, which is, is only grow while there is a lot of desert, while there is low rainfall while the condition of soil is very, very poor, which other plants can not survive, but they can look and survive there. In part, even as far back as, uh, as far back as 1960, it has been used to uh, reduce uh, uh, desertification problem in Nigeria. It's used as a shelter bed in the shelter bed program, about the same project more like that, to stop desertification in the in Nigeria. This is Gambaram, Nigeria is the second largest producer in the world, apart from Sudan. And the lambs of Nigeria are mainly to make us even the largest producer. But of course, of oil, so everybody abandoned the agricultural sector going to oil, 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 which is, which is not good. Now, the Gambaram is the only gum tree, which is acacia, that being allowed by the World Organization to be used as either food additive or pharmaceutical additive. It doesn't have any replacement. So there is no only option, there is no alternative to gum arabic use in pharmaceutical industry, then candy industry, beverage industry, a lot of other industries.